love that. Let's take it back to the beginning. Mm-hmm. Where are you from originally? I'm from Monk's Corner. Monk's Corner? South Carolina. Right. <laughs> it's outside of like like the Charleston area. Yeah. Yeah. Did you live in Charleston? Briefly. Mm-hmm. Um, like in 2020 to 2021-ish. Yeah. And then in the area in 2022. So since living in Charlotte, something that I've heard or been advised to do a lot is visit Char- Charleston. Yeah, you should. They say it's like a lot of history and whatever whatever it is that's there. But what's the reasons like people say that I should visit or why do you think I should? What's in Charleston, you know, that is important for me to see? Honestly, I feel like it's more of like an ancestral vibe that you get out of Charleston. Because the history there, like you can look at it in so many different ways because they still have like legit plantations like mm. there wow. that people love to go, yeah. you know, see and whatnot. But Charleston, it's, you feel like you're supposed to be there. Mm-hmm. And the people there, I, I'm cussing, right? Yeah. I fucks with people in Charleston. Yeah. Like I love, I day, love Charleston. <laughs> Like, I love Charleston. Like, it was definitely a vibe being there. Mm -hmm. Like, as far as family goes, the people I met in Charleston, like, the places. It's not a lot of places to go, though. But overall, it's just, like, when you're down there, like, you you feel like you're supposed to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I heard the food is amazing out there as well. Yes, absolutely. Because you're right next to the ocean. You're right there. Like, when I used to eat seafood, Mm -hmm. it was like everything was always, like fresh good mm. people season well the thing about charleston is a lot of like the white restaurants mm-hmm. the food is still good because everybody in the back is black oh. yeah so it's one of those things but overall you it'll it will be difficult to find like a bad like seafood restaurant yeah out that way so and one last thing that fascinates me with people from charleston mm-hmm. i've come across a few in charlotte is the way they talk yeah. Me being from Maryland, like we can pick up on Southern accents. Mm-hmm. I can tell when I'm south of Virginia. Mm-hmm. People mm-hmm. sound country, talk country. Charleston is in South Carolina. I can listen to someone from Columbia talk, and I'm like, you sound country as hell. But Charleston mm-hmm. is different. Yeah. They don't necessarily sound. They sound country, but also like Caribbean. Yeah. It's it's the Gullah Geechee roots. Mm. Like it's that African root. Like mm. truly, that's really where it comes from. But. You don't hear nobody talk like I mean a lot. I mean you know it'll sound like similar in a yeah, sense, but yeah. it's like once you really start talking to people from mm-hmm. Charleston, that's mm-hmm. that is fully original. Like it's nobody that <laughs> sounds like that. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. It's different. Cause I'm like it, I be having a hard time. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. I'm like one of my uh, homegirls. She from <laughs> Charleston, and her family was visiting, and we was at a cookout. And they would say stuff, and I had to ask her, like, yeah. you know, what the, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That is crazy. The Gullah Geechee, if you could just give us a brief, like, rundown of what that is exactly, because I have no clue. It's, ties to West Africa. Okay. Like that, like the roots of, um, like the roots of people from Charleston. Mm-hmm. Given, it depends on which story you want to go with or what you believe, but, um, you know, Charleston was one of, like, the biggest ports where yeah. they had... Um, you know, slaves come in. So a lot of them kept that dialect, Mm -hmm. like that tongue. So it's hard to like wash that away. Like that's in their DNA. Yeah. So, and again, like when I say, depending on what story you want to go with, like a lot of people were there, Mm -hmm. like people came in, but a lot of people were already there too. So it's, it's, it's definitely got those West African ties. Okay. Shout out to Charleston. I'm definitely Mm -hmm. going to make that trip soon. 